Hi and welcome to today's video. In case you're new here, my name is Anam. I go by Anam C on the internet. I create beauty and fashion videos, mostly beauty videos, and also a whole lot of vlogs. The video that I'm sharing with you today is a little bit off brand for me. I must start with just confessing that right out of the gate because I'm someone who is a complete cynic when it comes to very cheap makeup. I'm somebody who likes drugstore makeup. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean to sound like an absolute snob or anything. But I am 32 years old. I'm someone that started out with only drugstore makeup, and now my makeup vanity is a healthy mix of drugstore and uh, high-end luxury makeup. Having said that, I'm just trying to give you context that whenever I see something that's too cheap in the makeup world, and also as a beauty brand founder, I have my own beauty brand. It's called Wearified. We do high-quality, high-performance makeup products, but at an affordable price point. I have also learned over the years as a beauty brand founder, which is where I was going, that there are different levels of ingredients that you have as a brand the liberty to choose from. So when the price goes really, really low, I become really cynical about the quality of ingredients, performance, and usage, and all of those things are fine from surface value, face value. But what is this potentially doing to my skin? But in today's video, I'm going to be really honest, really candid. I will not. Judge a book by its not cover but price point, and I'm just gonna talk about product performance. And yeah, with that, I have gone ahead and shopped. None of the items in today's video have been received by me in PR. I've purchased each and every one of them, and uh, we're gonna be diving into the cheapest products, or in one or two categories, almost the cheapest products. I'll tell you why certain exceptions um, in each and every category of makeup that I bought on Nykaa. Let's not make this intro any longer, and let's dive right into it. Okay, on screen, I'm looking a little bit whiter because I've just put my sunscreen, and I'm testing this new sunscreen out, which, in terms of feel, clearly I'm liking, but white cast is clearly not winning. So let's hope. My very prepped face gets its foundation that matches the shade, hopefully, and let's see what I think of its performance. For the foundation, I have the Insight Makeup Essentials Ultra Thin Second Skin Long Wear Foundation. I bought this on Nykaa in the shade 04 Warm Nude, and here's hoping my streak of picking up good shades online stays intact. I'm always very nervous about that. Let's find out. Is it my shade? Okay, blended very easily. Got to give that there. Let's go ahead and build it up now that I know it's a touch warmer than my skin tone. Woo! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Almost dropped some on me and on my outfit, which you can't really see on screen, but I'm wearing a really good, cute top. Okay, blends really, really easily. The finish is very like Skin like, but also a touch velvety, more matte than dew, which I kind of like because I'm someone that when it comes to dewy foundations, I'm really, really picky. So it's always safer for me to pick up a matte foundation than a dewy one because I can always make it dewy with different types of prepping products and layering products. Can you see the little patchiness? Is it showing on screen? Yeah, see, this side is a lot warmer, a lot warmer, but the product hasn't really gone all the way here. So you do. Wow, it's just squirting product on my hand everywhere. I think that the packaging definitely needs uh, some work. The point I was getting to was that while it's blending really beautifully, maybe because the product formula is so thin, you need a lot of it. I'm someone that works with very little foundation in general. Um, whether I'm using a full coverage foundation or a sheer foundation. I don't opt for too much product. I like minimal product. So on that point, this is definitely against my usual style. But since it's really thin, maybe it won't feel cakey. Let's figure that. I make really funny faces while applying my makeup. I've realized. Just gonna apologize in advance for that. Okay, first impressions doesn't feel cakey on my skin at all. Actually, feels really nice and lightweight. Which I'm very impressed with. There wasn't a very neutral option available because I'm someone that used to buy warm foundations for so many years. 
up until one day I realized where I am not as yellowish as I think I am and uh, I, st I switched over completely to neutral foundations and this works for me so so well with my concealers I still switch between yellow tones and neutral tones it really depends from brand to brand and level of coverage to level of coverage but first impressions I'm only going to speak from performance I'm not going to over analyze formula ingredients level of ingredients raw materials etc today today i'm just going to speak on product usage experience i like it i'm actually looking forward to see how this sits through the day potentially will be interesting so for the concealer i have the inside 2x cover master concealer this i purchased in the shade 03 golden sand all right off the bat uh there are some air bubbles here that i'm seeing so i'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that this has a decent performance i'm gonna put very little to start with because i'm getting a little bit thrown off by this concealer shade it looks a little bit different than it did then it i'm dropping things i'm sorry i'm a little bit nervous when it comes to complexion products simply because i hate getting them wrong um but this looks a lot lighter than it did on the website on the app so i'm like wait how do I make you work? Okay, so in person, it looks like this is giving me a natural, brightish finish. But on screen, when I'm looking at it, it's looking a lot lighter. But I have a little trick, affordable, a little trick, don't worry. So it's very on brand and on theme for this video that is going to fix this. I'm not going to add any more product because I do believe that a little bit goes a long way. More so when you feel like you've got the shade wrong, don't keep building up. I'm just blending it as much as I can for now. It did blend very, very easily. I wish they had more shade options. One of the common issues I've seen with just purchasing products for this video has been that the options for shades is not much and i don't think that there is a purchase issue here because i know that there are a lot of people who are shopping on the price sensitive side of things who could really use more options whether it's for want whether it's for need is up to them so i find it funny that there aren't enough shade options in complexion products especially and complexion is one of those things where if you truly win over a customer they will come back to you repeatedly so I don't know why that effort is not being made. And even though these brands may be like, may sell at really, really low MRPs and selling prices, um, they manufacture at such a large scale that their profit margins are actually still very, very good, um, which is kind of how they scale and monetize. So it's looking better in person than on screen, I have to admit. What I'm gonna do is take the very trustworthy, very affordable Fit Me, I'm gonna, grab a verified beauty blender one that i never launched and i don't think i will be again same issue um cost mrp didn't want to launch something that was so expensive it's really high quality but i can't make as many tens of thousand units as a lot of these brands can as a self-funded brand now what i love about the fit me product that i'm using in shade medium 25 is that it works for me so well in terms of shade it's not something i would recommend for baking because it's not that finely milled but the shade is so good you see immediately a difference between my left and right and that's purely because this shade is so bang on um it just if you're if you ever land up if you're around my skin tone and you ever land up using a concealer that's much lighter for you but you don't want to add more either right because then it's just going to go lighter and grayer and grayer and grayer there's something about this pigment in the loose powder that works like a charm it works like a color corrector with giving it that um that proper finish you can see the way it seamlessly has covered my eyes the drawback to this product i'm gonna say very honestly is of course that it's too thick so if you're looking for a long day's wear that might be a little bit of a problem this is a product that works really well for me if i know i want to let my makeup sit seamlessly flawlessly for about two to four hours if it's all day all day then i may need some touch-ups on the go not a bad thing i mean i'm not saying i'm i don't think we should villainize the idea of touch-ups um but there you go it has matched out and my concealer will not go to waste if i choose to use it again because i have to fit me at hand quick thoughts on the concealer blended really seamlessly went on really well did not sit in my lines which is a very big plus point having said that 
the shade range was not great. So it's gonna be very hit and miss if you do choose to get your hands on this. I'm sitting here in the month of May recording this video. Really, the heat over here is bizarre. I'm having some homemade nimbu pani. Okay, let's move on to the brows next because that is something I'm very curious about whether this will work or not work. Don't tell me we have another Insight product. What have I ordered? I don't even remember. Oh no! It just says eyebrow pen matte look. Eyebrow pencil matte look. Is that the brand? I think I've blindly ordered things that were in the more cheaper side without really focusing much on the brand, which is exactly what we need. Except for the couple of caveats here, they're purely and solely because of the shade range. Please tell me I am not the only person that needs for the brow step for the mirror. Why am I speaking all broken? Wait, am I the only person that needs the mirror to be super up close while doing my brows? I don't know, tell me. Um, this is in the shade Ebony. I will link all of the products I'm using down below. I'm surprised I haven't mentioned that before. I'm sorry I haven't. Uh, I do use affiliate links for Nykaa, so full disclosure there. Let's just go on and see what this is like. Okay, this is going on like butter. Like when I tell you butter, this is literally feeling like butter on my brows. It is so creamy. It's got a touch of waxiness, which you do need for the brows, obviously. And because it's a pencil, it's giving me the kind of precision that I want. Um, doesn't come with a spoolie. It comes with this little brush thing on the other end. But then listen, this is like some hundred something rupees. I don't know what to expect out of a product like this. I don't, shouldn't expect a spoolie coming out of a product like this. So I'm not going to hold that against it. It's just an FYI. I'm kind of impressed. This was really creamy to go on. This was a little bit of waxy. Like I said, the precision has been great. And I've just done my brows a lot quicker than I normally do. Am I impressed? Yeah. Surprisingly, listen, what's going on over here? I haven't like disliked any application yet. Not bad at all, if you ask me. I'm very surprised, oh my God. You know what, I wanna wait and see and figure whether these smudge and budge and move through the day. That is going to be an interesting point to judge and rate these products on because I mean, your application can be great. I'm not getting into the formula in terms of not reading it on that front, on the ingredient front, I mean. But what's your stay like? How long lasting are you? Sorry, I'm focusing so much on my brows. I'm like, not bad, if you ask me. I could have gone a shade lighter, to be honest. Um, so would recommend that if you're around my skin tone. Nothing that I would dismiss considering the price tag. Let's move on to eyes and I have a really, really cheap, very, very cheap. I mean, I don't even know how they do this, to be honest. Very, very cheap and very, very brilliant eyeshadow palette over here. You have seen me playing with this before. This has gone on to become um, one of my favorites and with good reason. I'm figuring which one to pick up. Give me a second, please. Let's go with Brunch Party 07 from the Nykaa Quads Eyeshadow Palette. This is a product you have heard me talk about before. I have even mentioned them and given them a major shout out in my entire eyeshadow palette collection video. If you haven't seen that as yet, please go watch it. it took me forever to film that video and it was a very highly requested one. Um, I don't know how they do this. I don't know how they get these price points. Not gonna get into that again. My God, I keep saying it and then I keep saying I'm not gonna get into it. But then why am I saying it? I don't know. Force of habit? This palette usage is just pure joy. There's a little bit of fallout, but I wouldn't complain about it because of the price tag. The formulation is excellent. I think that this goes on so nicely. The shades blend with each other brilliantly. I would recommend you apply this on a um, on a cream concealer, liquid concealer, cream concealer, basically, instead of a powdered down layer because it will hold on to your lid. It'll hold on to that texture on your lid with a lot more ease. If you are applying this on top of an already powdered one, you'll still have a good experience, but I'm just giving you a tip to kind of 
elevate that experience let's say i also think that they have a good shade range of options in fact as of the last couple of weeks in present day today it is 17th of may i am pre filming a bunch of content because i'm traveling for 5 weeks at some point so you're probably going to see this video in that period before my vlogs start dropping I do think that um their new colors also look really really nice. I haven't received those in PR or anything as yet, but these I have from before and I had about I want to say 6 or 7 palettes that they launched and they're all stunning combinations. If you are on a budget and still looking for a really good eyeshadow palette collection hands down i would recommend this one sits really nicely on the lids blends beautifully together shades that are great for indian skin tone um don't know how they do the price but they do these are 200 something rupees and uh, more than anything they also somehow still do discounts on this which is really like leaves me shell shocked if i'm being honest very easy to work with overall Okay now I have skipped the kajal step because kajal to me is just not an essential but this I have not skipped we have a felt liner over here that I purchased waiting for it to focus on the screen okay there we go this one is also from inside clearly there is a market that inside has that I'm very curious to understand more of this is what the felt liner looks like um it's a really nice thick going into thin which gives me hope because the problem i have with most felt liners is that they are either too thick or so thin that you have to keep working to make it thicker something like this should be easy to maneuver so i'm going to give myself one of my signature classic wings but try not to make it too much which sometimes just happens inevitably so let's find out what happens <music> Oops, see, bended over. Can you see the little smudge bulge over here? It's not um gliding in a way that I needed to. I'm doing really small strokes because it's super stiff. Okay, it's not bending at all. It's like using a marker pen on my eyes. My <laughs> on screen it may look fine, but up close I can see the little detailing going teda meda going to try to fix it you see this point here i don't know like let's try to really zoom in and edit and show you this but there's like a break on the wing here that is a bad sign of a wing liner you want your wing liner to just flow not like come like this and then go tuck am i explaining it correctly <laughs> No. This one's not getting linked down below. This one's going straight into the bin. We will match it on the other eye because we have to, but uh, no. No, no, no. Oh god. Sorry, this one is going in the bin. I've made it uh, kind of work, but not worth the effort. Not worth whatever hundred rupees. Not worth fifty rupees. If it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. It's as simple as that. That's my logic in life. Let's move to mascara. What do we have here? For the mascara, we have the Blue Heaven Get Bold Mascara. beautiful fan lashes that's what it says i have high hopes only because i have tried a blue heaven lipstick once i'll leave a link into that video over here i did this thing called lipstick week a couple of years ago it was my first uh, time of doing lipstick week here on my youtube channel and uh, i don't know why i haven't done it again i'll leave a link into that whole playlist actually Go ahead watch those videos and leave a comment either here or on one of those videos and tell me whether you would want me to bring back lipstick week 
because that was really fun for me to do and plan and just deliver to you it was i think five days of back-to-back long-form sit-down videos about lipsticks i'm very happy to do more of those uh, either lipstick week or any other kind of week that you'd want me to do would you want me to do like a beginner's week or like an eyeshadow week tell me in the comments i'm here to listen this is what the applicator is looking like which is very chunky can be good can be bad you know with mascaras applicators really do make or break the formula it's not it's as much the formula as it is the applicator you can see a completely different performance of the same formula with a different applicator this one for example is doing nothing i'm gonna be a little bit more generous and not wipe out any excess i guess it's quite full are you seriously just gonna coat my my natural lashes and do nothing else seriously that's it you're done i could do more than this with my fingers if i could fit my finger into a mascara tube no bro this is just not it okay wait i'm gonna do something you should never do i'm gonna take the tip of my mascara and see if it can do anything okay i'm getting some definition on my natural lashes i'm getting no fan i'm getting no volume i'm just getting some definition which is to say that it's coating my lashes and that's it no 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 i'm sorry but like this isn't doing shit it's so bland no no no, even the chunky brush isn't doing shit. I'm sorry, this is gonna go in the bin. I have messed up my lower lashes on this side. So I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit, at least to even things out. You know, it's that thing where in makeup, if you make a mistake on one side and you go to fix it, make the same mistake on the other side and fix it so that the final look comes to being the same. No, dude, these last two products have been absolute fails. Let's hope this next one that i have over here which is this basically it is a trio palette with a bronzer blush and highlighter it comes to the savior now i did look at multiple individual options for bronzer slash contour blush and highlighter but when i saw this trio palette from miss claire i realized that the division of this by three i'm gonna throw up numbers and this and that in, like here i'll throw up the price essentially was coming to something a lot cheaper why is this not opening so I just ordered this instead. It's not opening. It's not opening. It's not opening. Oh my god, wait. I just noticed something on my hand. Do you see these black speckles? Are they showing up on video? This is from the mascara. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm throwing it, so. This product is already losing some points when it comes to packaging. Because, <laughs> I don't know, it's just not opening. Don't want to land up hurting myself while attempting to open this. Wow. Finally, here we go. Feels like a compass box that we had in our school days. Not mad at it, to be honest. Not bad for the price point. Let's, there's a cello tape here. My nails are going to get ruined just trying to unpack this package. Nice, big size. Gonna take off the protective layer. Not bad at all. This is really, really big. It comes to 20 grams when you put together all three of them, it seems. We've got the um, we've got the bronzer in the shade Machine. Fifth Avenue is the blush and the highlighter is hot stuff. Interesting. Nice big size. Also nice to see some like texture. You know what I mean? In a, in a packaging and at a price point like this. That's really interesting to me. Using the verified brushes. If you use the code brush set 12, you'll save around 2000 rupees on buying the entire collection. There's a lot of fallout here. Like when I say a lot, I mean truly genuinely a lot of fallout here. But again, I don't know how to be mad at this at this price point because it's a really affordable price point and it's one of those kind of things. Now, you'll see that I actually have a natural shadow over here. I'm going to quickly address my Elvis Presley-like side locks. I'm in between 
growing my side locks out after having been shaving them and trimming them for so long yes i know they look very weird i'm just going to let them be as is uh because i want to grow them out and if i cut them because they look weird i'll go back to the same thing all over again you can see i have a natural shadow over here a natural contour this is when i've accentuated it with the bronzer there is some pigment here there isn't too much but i have to compliment that how much ever there is is blending very smoothly maybe that's why it's actually less a pigment because sometimes taking less a pigment makes it seem like the product is blending far more easily than it would if there was a lot more pigment in it there's so much fallout on me that i'm a little bit like don't dress up and then use this product i would make sure that if you're using this palette then finish your makeup and then change into your final outfit because that would be a little bit of an inconvenience for sure hmm okay let's go into the blush is there fallout in the blush as well there's lesser fallout in the blush than there was in the bronzer okay that's good to know same thing very little pigment very 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 little pigment actually can you even see the blush on screen not really i can see a little bit of peach corally going on over here in person but i'm going to have to really build it up if i want to show it to you on screen thoda dikh raha hai na ab yahan pe see it's that little corallish finish no yeah nothing to write home about like i feel like even if someone else were yeah you can compare my left with my right in terms of color so you can see how much it is it's giving that soft too soft wala finish like i would much rather have a much more pigmented blush and take lesser of it as opposed to have a barely there where you have to keep building and building and building cuz the lesser of it is great for everyday wear and then for an evening wear you can layer it up and that kind of thing versus having something like this will require you to take 10 15 minutes just to like have a little bit of color seen on your face which is a lot of mehnat How do I show you the fallout without it falling all over my desk? One sec. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to show you the compass box, okay? Here you go. Can you see it? There's so much fallout and now some has fallen there so it's not even fully showing you and there's a lot that's on me and on the floor. The bronzer had a lot of fallout, the blush had medium, not medium, little more than medium. And now the sab kuch fallout mein okay highlighter ke upar hi aa gaya hai. Okay, highlighter has as much fall out as oh god the highlighter has as much fall out as the bronzer does can you is it picking up i'm going to quickly do this here wait oh my god it has fallen all over my phone ah okay i'm sorry my nimbu pani is not drinkable anymore because god knows where all the fall out has been not that chalky but a little chalky i am going to say a little chalky going on and then not blending like once it touches the skin Can you even see it on the screen? No, na. See, you, can you see this one line that's appearing on screen? Yeah, it's looking like that in person also. Not something I would use or recommend or anything of that sort. Mm, so much fallout. No, this is <sighs> it looks better on screen. But here I look like a little bit of a mess. I'm just going to be really honest. and things over here are so so dirty my phone my brushes my products everything i'm sorry i really wanted to like more things and i told you i'm not judging anything by the level of ingredients just performance but wiping down my verified lip oil to go in with our last step over here i have a lipstick this one is also in sight listen i did not consciously purchase in sight items i literally just went with cheapest close to cheapest shade working in complexion zones and things like that it's the in sight matte lipstick it is the shade red carpet a7 A7 that's an interesting coding system I have got my hands on a very very red lip not impressed with the packaging on the inside I mean it's okay again I think it's one of those itne paise mein itna hi milega things itna hi milega things easy to apply very creamy something sticky about it on the lips i don't know how else to describe it um kind of like i don't know i i'm going to be looking funny even trying to like mm, 
figure it out. Um, just something a little bit like it's stuck to my lips. Not that my lips are sticking. It's kind of like I can feel it on my lips, if that makes sense. Even pigmentation, I am going to say that for sure. I wonder if this, this is definitely not like transfer proof or long stay or anything like that because I can see that it's a creamy finish, it's not matte. So I'm going to wait for about 5 minutes before we do a little bit of a kiss test just to allow it some time to settle down. All formulas need a few minutes for this to settle down. So let me uh, come back to you, I mean I'll come back for you in a second. But I know I'll take 5 minutes. A few inches later. Okay, I'm not back after 5 minutes, I'm back after 10 12 minutes. I ended up taking a little bit of a break. Can we ignore the fact that the lipstick doesn't go with the look? That's fine. We're just testing products and formulas here. I want to do a quick roundup of my thoughts for you on each and every product, right? I mentioned that the liner and the mascara are complete skips. The brow gets a thumbs up from me. The foundation gets a thumbs up from me. The lipstick, I'm going to skip because Oh, no. Literally, it saved nothing. Um, I did layer it up quite a bit, but as you go along the day and eat and drink, I'm not gonna drink this Nemopani anymore because I think that fallout has gone all over. Yeah, same amount, so it's not like it's reducing. So at some point, it's just gonna get wiped out. So the lipstick is gonna get a no from me. Um, I should try and wipe this later, to be honest. What else have we got? The Nika palettes. These are an absolute, absolute, absolute hit. Maybelline Fit Me is an absolute hit. Uh, the concealer, I'm a little bit confused about because the formula was nice, but they don't have enough shades there. So I'm a little bit like, how do I even recommend something to you that may not cater to our skin tone? you know what I mean um, like what if you don't have fit me on standby or what if fit me doesn't work for you I've told you what I liked I've told you what I did like you tell me if you think I was fair in the way I've judged the products in today's video I have really truly tried my best to leave my biases aside and judge them purely on the basis of performance surface level testing as I think we should call it um, all in all am I happy we did this video yes I'm very happy I've done this video here today I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of it and if you want me to do more videos like these where I'm not just doing a tutorial it's a category I'm tapping into so give me more thoughts ideas suggestions requests down below in the comments I'm happy with the base that's something that is the takeaway for me over here like this is something I will reach for again is the way I'm feeling at the moment um yeah that's where i'm at today's videos where fam comment shout out goes to priya chatterjee roy thank you so much for always talking to me in the comments please use the hashtag where fam in your comments with your ideas suggestions requests whatever feedback even whatever they might be because that's how i track the comments with the hashtag and then can possibly give you a comment shout out in one of my upcoming videos thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video today leave a like hit subscribe Turn those bell notifications on. It's free and you get to help a girl out, please. So, yeah, I hope you will. Thank you. See you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.